So this is how to eat no pork and no wheat and no garbage, which is really hard. I have not been impressed with Mazatlan food in the least. Um, I haven't gotten sick, but it seems like um, adding just the weirdest shit to food is regular. Like everything seems to be sweet, overly sweet, like like there's just sugar in the food. And, and then if you go to just like the raw places like where the locals go, like literal rotten, served rotten cilantro. And the beef was so gray and fl I mean, yeah, and today I just sat down at a sushi place, took one bite and walked out and I paid, like I paid to get my food and it was so inedible, I just left. I've been walking for probably an hour and a half trying to find something to eat and just not having any luck at all. Like I haven't even been to one place that I would consider some place that I'd like to go back to. Even the places with like really, really, really high reviews are just nothing special. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in the quality of the food so far. The, the people here are amazing, super nice, but the food is just horrid. The fish, the tuna, tasted not fresh. And they just cover everything in sugar. Like the, and the overcooked the vegetables, like there was no appetizing visuals on that meal. It was disgusting on so many levels. I was just thinking about my last trip to Mexico and the food and they had like basically spit rotisserie tacos all over the Rocky Point where I was last time. And they, and all kinds of like vegetables and stuff that were there like pickled and all kinds of stuff there. I have not seen one place like that here. And all the tacos I've had here are like they don't understand the Maillard reaction. Right? Like, that's what I think is lacking here. Like, they just don't get it. But the, the whole way that they cook the tacos in Rocky Point with the whole spit thing, you're just getting that whole, like, charcoal grill flavor all on there. And it's delicious. And I, they just, I have not seen that here. I have seen a spit, but I'm pretty sure it was pork. And, ugh. So this is how to eat no pork and no wheat and no garbage, which is really hard. La Chalaca. This is Mexican food done exceptionally well. It's just like your basic Mexican food, but like elevated. So everything is fresh and just uh, super well prepared, delicious. Uh, you see the three hot sauces they got. It's super tasty, like a habanero. I think the other one might be a uh, arbol and green chili. Everything here is super delicious. The every fresh, delicious, top notch. Anna poke bowl. We call this Hawaiian food. It's just very, very clean, healthy food. You literally pick from ingredients and the ingredients are just prepared and put in the bowl. There's no, they have like a mayonnaise topping, they have a few sauces topping, but it's just, everything's pure and just straight ingredients. I eat here like over once a week the entire time I was there. Super just healthy, quality food. This place is called Totem, and again, this is another place that I would probably eat about once a week. This place's atmosphere was super cool. 
most of the places I ate once a week, they were just kind of plain. But this place, they, you know, they have this beautiful rooftop deck patio covered in all these really great plants. I was here once and they had like a crazy high swarm of bees and unfortunately I just ran instead of filming it. That was like the major missed shot of my trip was that bee uh, high or swarm infesting this very place right here. I ate this chicken bowl here uh, every time. That was so delicious. Really top notch, fresh, quality, well cooked food. This is potentially the best Mediterranean food that I've ever had. Casa Arab, or where Araba. This is a man from Jordan and his Mexican wife. And they run this place by themselves and it is exceptional. Once I found this place, I was there more than once a week until I left. It is just delicious. So this drink is like a mint, a very light mint water, super delicious. The dormas are really, really great. The lamb kebabs, I eat the same thing every time. Lamb kebabs, dormas, hummus, a side of tzatziki. And it just was so, everything's done perfectly. This little vegan food place was really tasty. I went there a couple times. It was a little way. It had a really cool little atmosphere. That's their patio right there, or the sidewalk rather. And yeah, they hook you up with this little kind of like a dip thing. I had the tacos and the potatoes. Super good. This is another vegan spot. Actually, I went here once because it was so far out of the way. The food was good. I actually had two entire main courses to fill me up. Uh, everything was so delicious. Uh, people were super nice. This place is in a really, really kind of a progressive little neighborhood. So that was a portobello with, I think it was spinach, and then this is enchiladas. Oh, so good. I went out one night, I wasn't that hungry, I just wanted something light to eat, and I found this place, it was not too far away from where I was staying. Pretty indescript. When I knocked on the door and they let me in, it turned out to be like the, one of the fanciest meals I've ever had as far as like, kind of like that Michelin star, like the chef comes up and talks you through like every course. There was eight courses, but a lot of them were pork, like four, or maybe there was nine courses and four were pork. So I just skipped those, which was perfect because I wasn't that hungry. But yeah, this was really an amazing experience and just, oh, the flavors were incredible. I here about three times. This sits on a plaza that's pretty much completely surrounded all the way around by restaurants. And this was the only restaurant out of all those restaurants that was really any good. Oh, I had some really sad food at that plaza because the quality of the food, it was just the cooking that was messing up. But this place, super awesome. That braised beef, something was delicious. Ate here, oh, I don't know how many times. It was two or three times. Just an amazing restaurant. Uh, always, it's owned by a guy from Argentina. So this is pretty much a steakhouse and they really have it down to the science and a super unique place. It's like there's no roof over the majority of the kitchen has a roof, but you know, that's completely separate. This tree is like the roof. Um, this I think was the second time I ate there. They literally have cats. That's like... Uh, if your restaurant has cats in it, oh yeah, I'll be back. Bring me cats for the, every restaurant should have cats. 
I was walking by this place, literally watching people working inside building it. And I was like, that looks like a crew of friends working. It does not look like a construction crew. So when I actually saw this place open, I jumped and it was actually like a launch, a soft launch night. I got lucky, got in. Oh, so good. I mean, these people moved to Mazatlan to open this restaurant from like some places like 20 hour drive away and just nailed it. Oh, the food was just exceptional. It was New Year's Eve and trying to find some place to eat was not easy. I got lucky and this place was open. And I actually forgot to film everything but the dessert. It was a lamb shank that was so delicious, but this dessert was absolutely bomb. Obviously, doesn't it look? I mean, look at the mousse, the gold leaf. What else you want? Oh, this is another place without a roof. This is like high-end Mexican food. Like straight up making the guacamole at your table, making the salsa at your table, whatever one you like, in the mocajete, and uh, grilling big chunks of meat to perfection. Uh, yeah, I, I ate here twice, and both times was just super satisfied. I would eat here 10 more times easily. This place is Hector's. It's run by a chef. Absolutely delicious. I forgot to record the meal because I wasn't feeling that great. This was my birthday dinner. I went a lot of away because there was really no reservations available. Because it turns out everybody parties like crazy all night long on December 24th. No idea until I was already ready to go to bed. So this place is super amazing, all about beef. I think this might have been the number one thing I ate the whole time I was there, that beef tartare. That's a picanha. Oh boy, I'm telling you, I had a great night there. Here are three dessert places as a bonus. This is Jamaica flower flavor. I've seen these, they have bags of these purple flowers and when I first tasted it, I was like, oh, not this. I tasted some other Jamaican flower stuff. I was like, oh, it's great. But it's not. It's like some flower from Jamaica that tastes like great. Kind of looks like great. It's delicious. Desserts. Just look at this. The line is down the street for this place. It's like all natural sorbets and ice creams. Look at they are just so busy. It's super good too. They, it, there, there's a reason why there's a line down the street. It's because this place is absolutely exceptionally tasty. Just mm, so good. Fresh made sorbet and ice cream. I ate in here way too much. They have the best sorbet in Mazatlan. Even better than that little cart place. Mm. Thank you for watching my video.